Welcome back everybody. In this video we're going to be reforging this knife that I drew on this piece of paper. Now I copied this knife from the Final Fantasy series. This is Tenberry's knife which is seen in the game Final Fantasy 7 when he tries to attack Zack Fair but misses because he trips on a stone. That's why you never run with knives because you hurt somebody. So with that being said, let's get forging. We're going to start by using this piece of lawnmower blade and get it forged to the rough shape. So let's talk real quick about the specs on this knife. Tenberry's knife is about four and a half inches, five inches long. It has a rough forged or painted spine that goes down to a nice shiny bevel. Now this is the knife that was used in Final Fantasy VII, but actually Final Fantasy Type-0 or Type-O has a version of Tenberry's knife that has a mirror polish and a false edge on the back, so I'm going to go with that design. I'm going to start by just rough forging this down to almost the exact same shape and the rest of it will finish up on the grinder. So there's a few things about this knife that I really like. I really like the copper spacer that you saw in the picture in the middle of this video, and I also really like the wood handle, except the ergonomic design is not very fancy. It's pretty much just a stick with a tang hole in it. So what I'm thinking about doing it's making a more ergonomic handle like you see in Final Fantasy Type O where it actually has a grip to it instead of just a round stop. I got this knife ground up in almost the exact same shape as the one on my paper except the one we're going to make is going to have a mirror polish. I want to make sure this thing is nice and straight before we go to the quench because one of the things I hate the most is warping in the quench. And for me, it happens all the time, just because I don't thermal cycle it properly. Gotta watch that thermal cycle. It's gonna go straight to the oil. And unfortunately for me, it didn't harden very well. I tried it several times, and the highest HRC I could get out of it was about 57, which is pretty low. It does hold a somewhat of a good edge, but it's still not the desired that I want. I'm then going to rough grind it from 36 grit to 320 grit. And then once I get off the belts, I'm going to take it from 320 grit all the way up to 1200 grit on hand sanding. This is my first time ever doing a mirror polish on a knife, and I think it turned out really cool. The only thing I did notice about it though, as with hand sanding, is there's like scratches in it. And I thought they were just lower grit scratches, but it appears to be something in the steel. And that's one of the things what happens when you do work with scrap steel, is there's imperfections and there's things that just don't look quite right. I smelted some of this copper from old tubing, and we're going to use this for our guard. Here it is, all complete and looking pretty. I think this thing turned out super nice. I really love this knife. If you are interested on it, I am selling it. It's not the greatest knife for kitchen use, but it does have a cool story to tell. And hey, if you ever want to be like Tenberry, you can have the Tenberry knife. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and you all have a great one.